All right, so this is how I go about trading Forex. Um, I look for pairs and I look for trends. So I have some of the major pairs here on the right hand side. And I usually look first under the four hours trend. So this is Euro, Pound, and as I could see here, not much happening trend-wise under the four hours. So this was a nice little trend. I missed that, and then it consolidated here then it should back up but then it just consolidating around here so that i would probably stay out of that for now let's go to the next pair the aussie and us dollar all right i see something happening here now so, oh, see, nice little trend going up here. That's, I guess. Again, this is the four hours. So, boom. The last, this candle here, each candle represents four hours. So, this is the current time, which is, it has three hours and 49 minutes left. So this is your current candle. This is the previous four hours. This is the previous four hours. So we have three consecutive four hours where we're going up. So now that we could look into that. Let's dial in and see what it's looking like. All right. And the reason why I choose a bigger time frame first is you want to check the overall picture and then if you see a trend happening in the overall picture then you start to dial in to get more details as to why this trend is happening or you know the direction the trend is actually going rather so let's go under one hour let's see what happening in the one hour so again one hour trend so from yesterday been going up take a dip here been going up all right so one hour two hour three hour four hours all right so again we have the same movement going up so then we dial in a little further half an hour and we have upward movement here still right so you had a bit of movement here it came down went up came down went up all right so i will go down to 15 minutes and still we're going up so all right so definitely we're going to trade aussie usd all right so let's go to the reason why i use trading view first because it allows me to see better i could see the graph better i could scroll in scroll out zoom in zoom out you know i could see it much better all right so then i go to metatrader I have Traders Way as my broker and I'm trading on MetaTrader. So then I go look for that pair there, which is, what am I doing? Which is Aussie USD. So then we go to Aussie USD, which I have here. Let's close this window. All right, so Aussie USD under the half an hour 
we've been going up. All right. Also, try to pay attention to the RSI to see how high it is. All right. So we're going to take a trade on this here. All right. I try not to buy at market because the spread there's be too much. So I do new order and I try to most of the time buy a, at buy stop. I don't use the stop loss, I don't use a take profit because I'm gonna be monitoring this closely. Now lot size I have confidence that this is going to follow the trend so I am going to take don't try this at home do not try this at home I'm going to take a lot size of two All right, let's do four do not try this at home let's see now so we're setting the price a little above market. Let's try to catch it a little above market so that the spread will be less. Yeah, and moving. All right, we just got you. So we're in play now. We're just gonna monitor this, monitor our line and see the direction we're going. Let's see if we could take some profits there this morning. And then call a judge. So right now it is 9.25 a.m. and we just placed the trade. Aussie USD, lot size of four. Like I said, don't try this at home. When you just start trading, use 0 0.01 or even 0 0.1 so that you don't blow your account smaller lot size in the beginning and then when you have more confidence you know what you're doing then you could increase your lot sizes all right so that's the strategy that i use i follow the trends i look at a bigger time frame and then i narrow it down to a smaller time frame to get an a better idea of how the trend is going if the trend is the same under all the time frames, then I have full confidence that it's gonna continue on this trend. Does it always continue on this trend? No, sometimes it may just go the opposite direction and you have no idea why. So you gotta be very careful with this. And um, in all my experience, which is basically two months learning this, uh the trend um the strategies they are not foolproof they are not foolproof they work some of the times you have a better idea of how to come in the trades how to get out but they are not 100 percent foolproof all right I always bear that in mind so in the meantime between time we're just gonna let this do its thing, trust your process. All right, let's see. Uh, sometimes I even dial in a little further, so we're looking at half an hour here. They have there's two minutes and change left in this half an hour candle. If we go further in, 15, 15 say we're still going up. If we go further in on the five, we get this red candle here. So it's consoli consolidating a little bit. Chances are it may go down. Chances are it may go back up. You know, under the one minute what's happening. We take a little dip here, you know. So, we're looking good still. We're looking good still. Now, we're up to 40 something. We could scalp these and just continue building, you know. But I'm going to ride it out. 
And the half an hour, I'm going to write that. And my goal for the day, $200, $300. If I could make $200, $300, then I'll be all right. So let's write this straight out. Matter of fact, my balance is 34. Let's try and get this balance up to four grand today. Sorry, so we, we're shooting for six bills today. Today is Thursday, May 28th. You work on a strategy, follow YouTube, look for videos that talk about strategies and then you take pieces of information from different people and then you try to come up with your own strategy because not one strategy is 100% foolproof. There's, if it was possible to predict the market, then everybody and their mother would be doing this. So, so the thing said. All right, so I'm gonna just watch this a little bit. There you go. Keep climbing, keep rising. So like I said, I could, could close this off, take this and then just come in on another trade. But I'm gonna just let it ride. I'm gonna let it ride for a little bit. All right, what I'll do, I will take, I will take probably two bills off of this one trade and then come back again on another trade. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. But nah, man, I trust the process. Another hour, we going up. Four hours say we going up. So four hours we going up following the trend. One hour we going up following the trend. Thirty minutes we going up following the trend. So you see red candle starting to form, but that's alright. We are busting our head on that. Fifteen minutes we going up still. So alright, we good. Five. Yeah, and then under the one, there you go. This is what giving me the headache there right now. But so that's why you always want to dial down to a smaller time frame to get a better idea of what's happening. So this red candle just formed this, it's pushing the price down. That's why we're in the negative right now. So that's a strong red candle to go blood clot. So what I could have done a while ago, when it was plus 100, I could have closed out the trade and then just come in again. Or I could have even sold here, but there's no way for you to know what's going to happen. So, see this price is getting pushed down. And I'm already down in the hole 150. So I'm going to go down in the hole a little bit, probably quite a bit, before I start rising back up. And there you go. Always happens. Always goes in the opposite direction of where you're trading. So you got to just trust the process. That's why I say this is not... If you know your heart weak and you can't take on seeing these kind of numbers here you don't need to be in this can't panic do not panic don't panic see there you go watch so what i could potentially do come in on a sale here you know since the price is being pushed down so much i could come in on a sale but nah do that I'm just going to ride this going back up. Yeah, understand? So, 
basically, all right, we already minus 300. If I had sold here instead of buying, then I could have made $300. If I had trade the right direction, there you go. But again, you never know. You never know. Yeah, so if I'd sell here, I would have make all that right away. And that's why I say, do not trade these big size lots if you're just starting. Do not trade these big size lots. If you're going to trade these big lots, you got to make sure you have enough cushion for when the price goes against you that you have enough in your in your account so that you don't blow your account. So uh just even monitor it too closely because it's gonna stress you out sometimes. Sometimes you just trust the process, get up, walk away, and go do something else. Now, what I usually do as well, which is a bad practice. Now that I see that it's down to minus 246 and I have a confidence that it's going to go back up because I need to get back in profit, I could come in and take another trade, another buy trade, before it goes back up. You understand? All right, let me show you how this works. Let's see. Do I feel like losing money today? <laughs> nah, you gotta trust the process, man. See, there you go. So you just went from what, from four hundred to back to one something. So again, I could have taken profits from the four hundred coming back up to two something, one something. That's already two hundred and something dollars, which I could have done. If I had put in another buy trade. So, what I could probably do, just, let me just write this out in the meantime, between time. So, this half an hour candle, we gain some stress here. Let's go under the one hour. So, we still. You're still good, man. You still trust the process. All right. So what I all right, here's what I'm gonna do. Let me see if I could scalp a hundred dollars from this trade there, quick. Under the four hour. Let's go back to the half hour. And let us put in. The direction is going down still. Matter of fact, let me just leave this. I don't feel like stop and that's one thing I need to do. Stop trading like you're gambling. You have a process, trust your process and you know. All right, even if all right, this is 472, here's what I'm going to do. Before we get all the way back up to here, because I have confidence it's going to go back up to here, I'm going to come in with another buy trade. Although I could potentially, I seen it when I was talking, I could have come in with a, a sell and, and, and probably hit maybe a, a, a buck at least, you know. So I'm going to, let me see if this bottoms out and then come back in, come back in with another buy trade. So, all right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, all right, so this is five something. 
So I'm going to write this coming back up. That's what I'm going to do. I wait for this next candle to form and I'm going to write this coming back up to my purchase line. Let me, I'll just wait until the next candle forms and then write it back up. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Write it back up. At what point do I come in? You don't know. You don't know. Let's go lower down. Five minutes. Five minutes say we're still going down. Yeah, so this one candle here that give me give me a blow there. Yeah. All right, so let's see where this next candle forms under the five minutes. It could go down still. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I have enough to write this back coming up. Let's take another trade coming in. Uh, pending order buy stop. We're gonna write this coming back up. It could go down too, still. Yeah, there you go. There you go, it could go down too. You never know which direction it's gonna go. So you see, you don't always win. Now, if I close this off, I lose this. Minus seven eight hundred. If I close this off, I lose this. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna lay it right back up. Now, depending on how low this goes, then if you don't have enough money in your account, you're gonna blow your account. So, lot sizes of four. That's madness. But hey, no risk, no reward. But in the beginning, when you just start your real account, even when you're doing a demo account, you trade smaller lot sizes. So you don't blow your account. All right, so this is what's happening. The last three, five minutes, we've been going down. Am I scared that it's gonna continue going down? No, why? Because when I look further out, under the one hour, we good, still, you know? And there you go. I could potentially just close this out to minimize my risk but this second trade I'm gonna write it uh, it's 384 behind the first one so I I am looking forward for it to go back to my first line so I'm gonna take profit from this second trade 384 dollars plus whatever profit I'm gonna get from the first trade when it goes back up you dig dig So in the meantime, between time, I feel like we'd go and make some breakfast. And, um, yeah, go and make some breakfast in the meantime. And 
let this ride. Let it ride, let it ride. But this, that, that moving so quick, you had to pay attention sometimes. So you could just take your profits and beep, slide out. Ride out, daddy, ride out. Yeah, sometimes when you look at the, if you keep looking at the lower time frames, when you see stuff like this happening, it's going to make you panic. So, your main goal is to trade. If you say you trade in one hour, you trade in one hour. And that's what you're focusing on. Your, you set your time frame and you're trading under that time frame. If you decide to go to a smaller time frame to monitor what's happening, yeah, you could do that. But remember, that's not the time frame you're trading under. I, so, always bear that in mind. So, if it's one hour, we have 15 minutes in this hour, just leave it. You know, but I like the half an hour. And even the 15 minutes too. Gives you a, a, you know, a better idea of what's happening. So, under this 15, once that turns around and start going back up, then I should be alright. But let's leave it another one hour. In the meantime, I'm going to eat a couple of mangoes there for breakfast. You dig? Yeah, mango time. my teeth already so the mango is sour you know let me write it out still i'm gonna go in the kitchen and eat my mango because that doesn't that probably not sounding too kosher on the mic there
Alright, so we back. We back, we back, we back. Alright, so that's good stuff. Already up one forty four on the smaller on the second trade. This is already more money than I'd make on my regular nine to five. So like we say, we're gonna just let it ride. Uh, in the beginning, honestly, I was scared to turn my back because you know you never know what's gonna happen. If the candles could just do a madness on you, and make you lose your money. Right. With my strategy now, I have more confidence that I could ride it for some time you know i used to panic a lot in the beginning when i see all oh, the candles go oh, like oh gee i'm losing my money oh god i'm losing my money and then i would just close out close out close out you know but now just ride it Here's what I'm gonna do as well so that I don't keep focusing on this here. Let's go. What is this price? 66505. I'm gonna go back to trading view. 66. I'm gonna draw a horizontal line at 66505. We say 66. Five oh five. Hold on. Let me see where my position is. Uh, yeah, sixty six five oh five. And we're going to call this my position. And it's a buy position. Alright. Now, the reason why I'm doing this. So I don't keep focusing on the money. But rather the chart. So. This is where the price is, the dotted line. This is my position. Remember, I have two positions, but this is the upper one. So all I'm looking for is for the price to pass my position and keep going up. Once you start looking at the money, you're going to mess with your head. So let's just focus on the chart. And I need a toothpick now. Mango shreds. Mango shreds stuck in my teeth.
Try to get that bread, man. Let's get it. Put in the work, trust the process. So oh, that's what 15 minutes. Let's see what's happening. Half an hour. Still getting leaks there. Let's see what's happening under the hour. I'm still looking good. But you see this the week. Right here. This week right here. A new hour start. 10 o'clock yeah this week right here price getting pushed down so yeah quite possibly that this next hour price will be pushed down but again you never know yep there it is going down so you should sometimes, not sometimes, should pay attention to your weeks as well. Your weeks will give you an idea of where the price is going to go. Because that big week here that shows resistance. Yeah, son. It shows resistance. But like I say, with this thing here, nothing is concrete. And, and, what I could have done back over here, keep pressing this thing. Back over here, I could have taken the profits, they want something profits, and then ride out, and then come back in again to ride this back up, you know? But trust the process. So this red candle, this is about to form here, depending on how, how low it goes, I could blow my account. If I get something like this happening, definitely blow my account. So, here's what we're going to do. Every time it fluctuates like this, you're going to scalp some money until it goes back up to here, to our first position. That way I do. Just stop pressing this thing, boy. That we're going to do. So, we're going to keep scalping every time it goes back up until it reaches our position because we could be making money with all this fluctuation. That's what we could be doing. Gotta develop your own strategy, that's it, man. And the more you do it, the more you get used to it, you come up with new things. This is, I'm good. This is what I'm doing here today. This is new to me. Uh, 
you come up with new ideas. Try them in the demo account, see if they work. Don't try stuff on your real account. You won't blow your account. Try stuff on your demo account. important thing patience don't panic patience don't panic yep. Patience, don't panic. So, yeah, that's that's all I'll do. Hopefully, it works. So this second trade, every time it go to uh, every time it go positive, a buck, we're gonna scalp a buck each time, which I could have taken the 150 a while ago. Each time it comes closer to the first trade. Because our main goal for the day is for our first trade to go back in the positive. That's what we came to do. You know. So you don't always have to come in and buy. You could have come in and sell. If I had come in and sell for that hour there, I done already. You know? But the chat does not always go your way. Patience. Don't panic. YouTube, YouTube, copyright, copyright, copyright. Give me a break in my life. Let me see what song that is. All right, so there we go. Back. close it out you see then trust the process all right let me take this there we go let's let it ride man that too I, I, I too late <laughs> you see that <laughs> too little boy let me see how much I get from that there Whoa, 160 so quick dog all right so yeah we close this one out and let's come back in again let's see I then try and take that two bills there dog no let's wait until it go back down again Let's wait until it go back down again. So by me closing out this second trade, which I was hoping that it would ride up all the way up to my first trade, I could potentially lose because remember there was a difference of three something between the two trades. By me closing it out early, 
I forego an extra one something. But the reason why I close it out early is because hopefully it goes back down and then I could write it back up again. You dig? I mean, yeah, I want this to go back in profit so we could get out of here, you know? But this is fluctuating so much, we could eat our food from these fluctuations. You dig? So like, all right, we minus 300 there, I could come back in again. Let me let's see if it's gonna go down some more. Yeah. If we go back down to like a four five, and I could come in and buy again. If we go down to four, minus four, I could come in and buy again. Um, with the fact that it's going down, I could also come in and write it down with a sell, but I'm not gonna do that. That's too much, way too much gambling. Don't gamble. Trust your process, have patience, don't panic. Alright, so 170, 180. We could come in again. Come in clean, man. Let's try and write that. Try and write this going back up. Let's see. Let's do five lots. I said, guys, don't try this at home. Please and thank you. The reason why this happened is because one, I needed to do a buy stop. All right, and let's bring our price closer to the market price. What's happening here? I mean, order can be point. Six four idiots. What's happening here? What's happening here? Hold on, close this out. Let's go again. Are you making me miss out money? Bro? You making me miss bread there, doggy? Buy stop. Missing on bread, there, dog. So, all right, what's gonna happen here now with this new order? I set the price at. Why well, it happened already? I couldn't even. I set the price at four eighty five sixty six point four point six six four eighty five. So once it hit that mark, then it's gonna execute. Before I could even say that, boom, it hit the mark already. So again, we have two orders in here. Once you reach, uh, we just need for the first order to get in profit and then we could ride out. Ride out, daddy, ride out. So
So, um, I was saying about the wicks a while ago. Sometimes you want to pay attention to the wicks because the wicks will give you an indication of where the next candle, the direction the next candle is going. So, with a bearish candle, if there's a strong wick on the top, then you know the sellers really come in hard and, and, and push these prices down. You know? If a bullish candle, then obviously the opposite is, is true. If you have... No. How about, let me see. How does it go again? If you have a bullish candle and there's a strong wick at the top, that means the sellers were trying to push the price down. Buyers was trying to push it up. So there was a big tug of war between the sellers and buyers that leave you with that strong wick at the top. If there's a very small wick or no wick at the top of a bullish candle, then quite possibly the price could continue going up. But that's not always the case. As you could see, this one here, no wick at the top, but the price still fell. This one here, no wick at the top, but the price still fell. So that's why I try not to pay attention to some of these things because, again, you could never tell where it's going to go. All right, so. Three something, one something. All right, so let's just get these things going and then we'll be all right. Once these two get into profit, it should be good. And then we'll call it a day. Yep, yep. Remember, guys, you don't always win. Not every day is Christmas in this market. If I get some big bearish candle there, I can't go to zoop kudong. So we're just gonna monitor this. How am I gonna edit this video, boy? I guess I'm not even gonna edit it. I guess you guys have to just look at this the way it is. Now. Unless I could, um, Speed up the parts that speed up the parts that are dead when nothing is happening. Now, nah, man, you all watch it so the same way. Test your patience too, like I'm testing my patience, same way. See this? Ooh. Don't panic. We have enough leverage, don't panic. That's half an hour. Now you never know what direction this thing gonna go, man. So we still have a lot of time under this one hour candle. It could bounce back up. So like I tell you, I just monitor this graph instead. Monitor this chart and don't even pay attention to the other one. Because once you start looking at the money and then you see, no boy, your money going down, then you start to panic and then you start, nah, start to freak out and stuff like that. 
You know, sometimes they even put on the TV, watch a movie. DJ Phil, man. Ben Chen Weston. So much crazy stuff happening in this world, boy. It's mad.
<laughs> and we put on Facebook is a trip, so. It's Thursday, throwback Thursdays. And so on as that. But My friend and Juke Dev. Juke Dev is a bad man, yeah. <laughs> My friend and Juke Dev. Hey, hey. Mad. Yeah, boy, Minneapolis fellas and them rioting, burning the place, man. No good, man. No good, no good, no good, man. It's crazy out there. Put in the work, put in the work, trust the process, put in the work and trust the process, yo. Yes, that's so we grind right now. See how long we in that hole there? Patience, my dad, patience. Patience is the virtue.
Mad Jubim. No, white people less threaten people on Facebook to unfriend them or to block them. Oh, if you do this, I'm going to block you. If you like, what's the point, man? Like, people are supposed to be scared because you say you're going to block them. Bait is. Do some push ups in the meantime. I feel you, my dear. So old.
that's good you know the shit them people do and so natural glue for that makeup on your face. Let's see what's going on over here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave this one up so you guys could see the movement. Why well, do I stay here and browse Facebook? Well, that's boost. I see how much of the skin come out or not.
Ja, fishing in sea boy. Last night, so we over our hair ready in the trade, but we gotta have patience. <laughs> Facebook is crazy, man. Then we started like 9.25. That was so close to that. Yeah, that was just making sense then. the chef. So the looting and the shooting. Some people saying burn it down. Some people saying it's not making sense. To me, it doesn't make sense. Take all four. You check. Oh, Nyla, 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 black man.
let me check um, the stock market too. See what's happening in the stock market. See what's happening in the stock market. I have my stock here on Robinhood. Uh, TTO. Waiting for this TTO to go in profit so I could close it out. Just wasting my time. And then um, I have Moderna, which is at $23 profit. Again, I'm just wasting my time with them stock, man. Moving to slow. Uh, Saka Fedla. Profits are taking place there already, my G. So we have... We say we're going in for... Uh, we already over... Oops, let, let this ride still. How much we had on the first trade? 160. So let's take this to something. Right. And then this one here. We say we wanted this to go what? For grand? So, all right, so we have for the day now 160 and 225, that's 385. Let's watch this guy, let's see what this guy is gonna do with his life. Trying to get my equity to four grand. So let's write this a little bit to see. All right, one hour, let's see, another half an hour. There you go, close out. And that's it. All right, my day is done. My day is done. We hit our target, we get out. We hit our target, we get out. So for today, 208, 225, and 160. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for your patience. This is what, less than an hour and a half. This is Forex trading. So like I said, this is how I trade. I trade with the trend. I look at a bigger time frame and then I narrow it down to see if all the time frames following that same trend and then I get it, all right? The lot sizes I'm trading, I'm trading big lot sizes because I have enough in my account in case it dips but once you're starting off you could start off with smaller lot sizes because the bigger the lot size the bigger the risk All right so you could start off with smaller lot sizes so you don't blow your account all right so this was my day today thursday may 28th 2020 um we started around 9.25. It is now 10.51 a.m. My trading day is done. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient. Be safe. Don't forget to like, 
subscribe to my channel digital bashment on youtube follow me on instagram digital bashment follow me on facebook digital bashment periscope digital bashment twitter digital bashment my website digitalbashment.com all right peace and love good luck happy trading enjoy the rest of your day throwback thursday throwback some morning our account yeah out of there.